Finally, notice that we've shown a guy sitting on this blanket. Let's zoom up on him. As you can see, he's enjoying some raw meat and a glass of milk. I guess he's celebrating the American victory, perhaps a little prematurely. Anyway, the raw meat and pork in the image should help you remember that Campylobacter is also transmitted through the ingestion of undercooked meat and unpasteurized milk. Remember that bomb that went off? Well, it appears to have done quite a bit of damage, as you can probably tell by all of the people getting blown up. Now we can see some bloody remains around the explosion. In any case, the blood is here to help you remember that Campylobacter causes bloody diarrhea. Alright, now notice that we've shown several other Green Berets climbing the hill to put up that flag. As you can see, as they go up, they get progressively fatigued. Look at that guy near the top on all fours and out of breath. Anyway, Green Beret sounds like Guillaume Beret, so that's why we've shown these soldiers here. Also, the fact that they're getting more and more tired as they climb the hill should make you think of ascending paralysis. So putting these two ideas together should help you remember that Campylobacter is associated with Guillain-Barre syndrome, which is an immune-mediated condition that occurs due to molecular mimicry. We talked about this idea in our strep pyogenes video, and the process is similar here. Ultimately, this results in ascending paralysis that begins in the lower extremities and progresses upward. Finally, notice that we've shown a girl furiously writing down some information next to the guy with the camera. These two are here to document this victory, and are the ones responsible for that masterful picture I showed earlier of the American troops putting up the flag. Anyway, just like in our other videos, the person writing is here to help you remember Rider Syndrome. So, Campylobacter is associated with Rider Syndrome, which is also known as reactive arthritis.